Welcome to All Plan Quick Start Unit 7. In this unit, I'll show you how to assemble layouts in All Plan and export them to PDF. Start by loading the data for this unit. Click Open on a project specific basis and deselect the site from the previous unit. In addition, close the structural levels you don't need. Next, open Unit 7 and select it. Check if Drawing File 700 is activated. If it isn't, activate it. Then deselect the site and the detached house because we won't need them right now. All other structural levels should also be deselected. For assembling layouts, Allplan offers a special layout editor tool. Enable the Layout Editor button to activate the tool. Click Open on a project-specific basis Layouts dialog box. Choose the Layout 1, Unit 7. Using the Layout Editor, you create layouts in which you can place images, text and drawing files as layout elements. What is really placed there is not the actual drawing file, but a reference to the drawing file. This saves time, because if you make changes to your building, you can have your layouts updated automatically. As you can see here, Layout 1 is almost finished. We'll add a few details and then export it to PDF. Let's start by adding a layout border and a title block to the layout. What you do is select the Tools palette, Basic, Layout and click Setup Page. Here you can see various settings for the layout. To make sure there's enough room for a title block, change the value for the plan width to 900mm. For the layout border, choose Filing Margin, Dean 824A. Select black for the pen colours. For the title block, choose the legend type, open the default folder and select the legend with logo, last index at top. OK. Leave the title block position set to zero. Here you can also choose a background colour or add a bitmap in the background of the layout. We have now added a layout border and a title block to our layout. Next, we'll add a site plan. For this, select the Tools palette, Basic, Layout and click Layout Element. In the Layout Element dialog box, choose Building Structure. In the Building Structure, collapse all structural levels. Then open Unit 7, Site, and activate Drawing File, 711, Site, Plan Import. I've already placed an imported site plan in this drawing file. OK. Use these settings for the layout element. You can now place the site plan here above the title block and quit the tool with Escape. The only thing that's still missing now is the labelling for the site plan. By double right-clicking this label, you can open the text editor and use the same formatting for the new text. OK. Finished. You can now choose between different ways to display the layout. Down here at the bottom right, you can select if you want to display the layout as a design view where the sizes of the individual layout elements are shown with a border or, if you prefer, a grey-scaled preview. As the next step will be to export the layout to a PDF as a colour plot, choose Colored Preview and take a look at the result. As you can see, the borders of the layout elements are hidden now because they will not be printed. The layout is now finished. We can now export it to a PDF. 
Go to the Tools palette and choose Export PDF Data. Our layout is already selected in the Select Layouts dialog box, so all you need to do is click OK. In the Export PDF Data dialog box, select these settings and click OK. The layout is exported and opened in the associated application, which is Adobe Reader in this case. As we have also exported the layers from all plan, we can now show and hide the individual layers of our layout in Adobe Reader. We could then print the PDF file or send it by email. We can close Adobe Reader at this point and return to all plan. Assembling layouts with all plan is very easy and enables you to quickly update your layouts if you need to make changes. This brings us to the end of this unit, so we can close the layout editor now. In the next two units, I'll explain how to design shells and reinforcements. If you are interested in this subject, you're very welcome to join us in two exciting and informative units. If you don't design shells and reinforcements, you can continue with Unit 10, which is about data exchange using all plan exchange. There I will show you, for example, how you can export your layouts in a wide range of formats with a single mouse click.